Man, it's a small crowd today. I was just gonna Small say but only mighty. the best are here. I say the realest ones are here today. Well, it's been about six months since we've seen you. What have you been up to in that time? Uh, a lot of rehab. Um, man, not to spill the diary, but I, I went in my last fight with a torn MCL, and um, in hindsight, you know, uh, might have might have passed on it. In the future, I will. But I just had to do a lot of rehabilitation afterwards. I was able to avoid surgery, but need to get a series of injections and some PT for a few months, and now we're back. Everything good? You've tested it out? Everything yeah, feels yeah. Good? Sturdy. Stable. Feeling good. I mean, you wouldn't say no anyway, so. That yeah. was a but from the past experience, though, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't step back in again compromised to that extent. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am good. I feel good. What, was the, um, what were the first thoughts when you heard the name? Uh, oh, Your Jackson? Opinion. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's run it. I, I was really excited about the match. Um, we're all kind of in that pool you know we're like in this like mid 45 cesspool with each other so everyone's got to get to matching up at some point um i dig it i really like the matchup he's a familiar style and i feel like um we're both dogs but i've got a little bit more of a i think a lot bit more of a, a sharpness and a technical aptitude than he does and i think that uh i'll 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 exploit him in in exchanges do you see the fight going three rounds, or do you feel like it'll be a quick in and out with him? It could. I would love for it to be uh, quick. You know, I could definitely see the possibility for that. But he's tough. I'm tough. I could. I could see it going three. So we had him in here earlier, and he seems to not like you very much. I'm just curious if you were aware of that, and if you know what the the beef might be. I don't. I don't know. I'm pretty neutral about him myself. Do you want me to tell you what it is, or do you not care? Is, do you think it might be a mind game he's playing, or? Oh, I don't care. You know what it is? Yeah, he said it's. He, you said some things about cowboy that he didn't like. Oh, that's pretty homosexual. That was a long time ago. That's like the softest shit of all time, dude. I promise, cowboy doesn't care about you. I was just drinking beers and eating hot dogs in San Antonio with cowboy <laughs> when he made it to the uh, Hall of Fame. So, yeah, I. I that's that's kind of silly to cry over another man's woes. Do you plan on bringing that up if he if he brings it? I mean, I mean fuck no. I give a fuck. I think I want to remember that anyways. No, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care to bring that up. That has nothing to do. That was, I don't know, the first year I was here maybe, five, six years ago. Yeah, that's a wild thing to be holding on to. Do you, do you think when somebody is holding on to something like that, that, that maybe they're grasping at straws for something, that they're kind of hoping that they are trying to give themselves an edge? Do you feel like he needs to hate you to, in order to fight you? I mean, that's a personal question. You'd have to ask that guy that. It seems like it. Yeah, it seems a little bit like straw grasping. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. So, I'm stoked to do him in, though, man. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. I was just telling the other media guys a second ago, this 45 process, uh, well, it's just been that. It's been a bit of a process. And, and right now, I feel more stable and grounded in the position. I feel more doggy than ever. Uh, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited to hurt Damon. So uh, it could be mad or be however he wants to be, but I, I'm going to be calculated. Have you had a chance to kind of look at your, your year and plan it out how you'd like to see the year go? Do you have goals set in mind? I know you don't want to look past your opponent, but there's got to be some milestones you're hoping to, to hit this year. Yeah, absolutely. And last weekend, um, there was a number of great featherweight fights and some good, um, some good um, uh, future opponents from those outcomes. So I'm I've already got a few ideas of who, who I want to fight next. And again, we're all kind of on the same schedule. There's, there's a handful of guys from the last two weeks. You got some guys in May. So it's moving kind of all according to plan. I think I could get something in before summer. That'd be awesome. And I do have, I do have an idea of the year. Yeah. Thank you. How happy were you to see uh, Yusuf Zalal get back at the UFC and then go out there and beat, beat Billy Q? Man, he, he did what, what I should have done, you know, make it look easy. And I knew he could. Stylistically, he's real smooth and clean like that. I knew he'd be composed. We talked a lot about that already. And uh, it, that, was, that was sweet to see. Irregardless, it was just cool to see your boy do his, do his thing. So that was, uh, that was awesome. I'm sure you were like all of us were like, he's too good to be on the regional scene, but for some reason he's not in the UFC. Like, were you mm. just wondering, like, when's he, when, when's he going to return? Yeah, yeah. We, we all knew it was just a matter of time. Um, you know, we all have obstacles 
and it, it's a uh, it's a volatile game. So you know he had his ups, he had his down, and then he was just crushing on the region scene. He was only getting more mature, more more improved, and uh, and we knew was, we knew he was going to be back in. It was just a matter of when, and and that was best case scenario. You know he was almost going to have to get the tough show. Ended up getting the short nose call, which I would take over a TV show any day of the week. You know, and so yeah, it, it was a great great matchup for him too. What's it training like? Like training like with with him, where it's like he's grinding so hard on the regional scene. You know how hard he works. You know how much he offers the team. But he's not in the UFC. Like so, how's it? How how was it training with him? Seeing him try to get back to the bit, to the big show. I mean, it's the same as anybody. You know, you don't really think about promotions when you're in the gym. You just have, uh, you know, the guy beside you. You know, the guy in front of you, and. Uh, everybody's so well skilled. Everybody's so game. So it's like, uh, you know, I, I wasn't looking at Yusuf like, oh, the former UFC contender, and now he's, you know, the regional stud. No, I look at him like Yusuf. You know, just like I look at, you know, Brandon, like Brandon, uh, you know, Mark, like Mark, any, any number of the guys. You know, they're, they're just, uh, they're, they're all so talented. We get guys that come in to cross train, and, you know, m most of our team will take them, take them to school, you know, and so it's, uh, it's never a label of promotion, you know. It's it's always just everyone's grinding, everyone's got great merit, and uh, and we all know what everyone's capable of doing. It's just a matter of hey, can we show up and perform and get it done, you know? Who's the next Factory X stud besides Louis Crulet? Who's who's gonna make it to the UFC next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Louis is sick. I did good good call outs on that. Uh, Rafa, yeah. Yeah, we got uh, A Y's coming up. Um, Brian Mitchell. No, Hollywood. Yeah, we got a good, good host of guys around that 35-45. Uh, They're all on the brink right now. Um, it's a tough pool. 55 looks good, too. But, yeah, that's a tough, tough pool of cats. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. Cool. cool. All right. Thanks, guys.